Hi guys, Showmaker here. Uh, I intended to do a video where I expanded to this district here and then continue doing this sort of jazz here. Uh, but I kind of decided against it. Uh, I'm going to instead deal with another problem that is apparently common enough. So when we go to Enemy's Building, there's this kind of a greenish rock type image over it. We click on it, it says not enough raw materials. Uh, the reason is because this industry here has to travel along this highway to get into this highway. Alternatively, they can go up to this way and go through this highway as well, and eventually through this highway here, and eventually down south here. Um, but there are closer avenues, and there are more are more more avenues. So just south of it, I have a highway, I have a rail track, and I have a body of water. So I'm going to use all three of those. That's how we're going to roll this. Uh, so first things first, we're going to do our train system. So it's under transport for whatever reason. And when we go to train, we have our cargo train terminal, the one we're going to use, and we have our train station. And also you can uh, build train station, uh, construct train station lines for when you design your own track to cut, to cut through your own city, uh, which yes, totally uh, feasible strategy for mass transit in the game and uh, one that a lot of people will be engaging in. But we'll be using this entirely for industry because we're trying to get our industry going. We need them to pay more taxes. We need them to not be going into business. So I'm going to place this as far to the to the right here as I can. Looks like where I had it was where it's going to go. There we go. Now I just connect my line into this line. Uh, so these are all two-way tracks. And I just have to make sure that it actually connects in. And looks like that, as you can see, we'll zoom in, did not actually connect in. As you can see right here, there's a gap. And over here, there's also a gap. So we have two uh, pieces of track that are not connected in. So I'm going to have to delete those two sections of the track and connect them just a little bit better. So I'm going to use a bendy road here. There we go. And that connects in. And over here, um, I think we just need to get closer to the bridge. And there we go, same thing. And we're going to do the same thing over here. A little bit of bendy road, just so that kind of stays in place. And oops, that is not the right button at all that I just pushed there. Uh, this is the one that I was looking for. And does that connect in? And there we go. We have um, a train station now that will support all of this industry here. All these vehicles, instead of traveling all the way across the highway, all the way over to here, they will now just travel to the train station and they'll pick up their goods there for uh, making their businesses work and they'll also ship their goods from here. Uh, so I said there's also a boat option, which we do have. So we have this one, which is the uh, harbor, which is for uh, tourism. And if I place multiple harbors throughout the city, and, and I can't place them everywhere, obviously, uh, it'll also act as a mini transit system of only the, the tiniest, tiniest way. But I want to have the cargo harbor fairly close to my businesses. So I'm going to place it right here. We're going to have to destroy a few businesses. we got to destroy business to make business. That's how it will be going. And I'm going to make this uh, entirely one way road so that um, traffic will flow a little bit better into here. There we go. So one way into here, into here, out here, and then they can go, you know, wherever they want from there. Okay, so that's our harbor. So now all this industry, keep in mind, more industry still blossoming in here in our, uh, in our uh, industrial, uh, in our logging area. Keep in mind, these little trees are actually businesses. Yeah, those are full-on logging businesses with the uh, Lots of educated workers there. Uh, so finally, there's this uh, highway here. Now, there's not quite enough space to do what I want to do. So we're going to have to move a lot of infrastructure back. So we're going to get rid of a lot of power line. And we're going to get rid of a lot of roads. Even these bridges here, these nice suspension bridges, are all going to go. And there's going to be nothing nice or pretty about what I'm going to do here. So we've gotten rid of all the nice road segments, the nice pre-built ones by the map designers. Now I have two options. One, I can try this guy if I intend to go further south. But notice there's nothing south right now. Nothing at all actually. 
just a giant lake, and there's no highway access. So we're going to use this one. I've talked about this before. Uh, this is our, um, our three-way intersection, and using the right-click button to reposition it properly. And now it's a matter of linking this up properly. So I want it to go kind of right as far back as possible, but as far forward as possible. Okay, that's good. I need enough space to do what I want to do. What is it that I want to do? Well, I'm going to build a highway. Call it a covered highway. I don't know why I'm worried about sound here, but I guess I am. And we're going to make an overpass. I hit the page up button to give it an up. And page down to make it go down. And now we built ourselves a very teensy, teensy tiny bridge that will allow the uh, trains to go through. And I'll just connect this side over here. This will not be, uh, you know, perfecto or anything like that. Oh, page up. And I'm going to build it around halfway. These are not going to be symmetrical by the looks of it at all. And page down, uh, slope too steep. So, let's try and get it rising just a little bit earlier. About halfway. And then we'll have it steep downward. There we go. Now it's a lot more symmetrical. Boom, shaka laka, boom, shaka laka, boom. And now we just have to connect um, our old traffic. And keep in mind, this is the same highway as this. So, I mean, it's also going to allow people to get around my city a little bit easier. Um, so we need to connect this. With that. There we go. Just right-hand roads connecting to right-hand roads. And left-hand roads. Connecting left-hand roads. Now, why you're wondering, are these suspension bridges? And these ones are not? One of these is not? I have no idea, actually. It doesn't actually make a ton of sense to me. At all. Uh, so yeah, that is that. And now my industry is supported. We can kind of look towards the map now. A lot of these buildings were getting abandoned previously because um, they just weren't getting enough supplies. But let's speed this up a little bit. Itty bitty bit. And we'll watch people use our new infrastructure. And they'll actually full on turn in. So let's see. How long will it take for this to happen, I wonder. A little longer than I thought. I guess the train has to go through. Oh. Gotta get some water over here to get this port actually working. Anything else need water while we're at it? No? Okay. So we have a fully functional train system here. Is anyone delivering goods in? Not quite yet. I guess there's no trains coming. And people are still going to go to the highways, obviously, but now this is going to uh, congest less than my other traffic. Hmm. There we go. Somebody's coming in. And going away. Hmm. Hmm. Please, someone use these facilities. I built them for you. They're supposed to turn in to these facilities and um, just, you know, use them. Feeling moderately ripped off by the industrial pe industrial peoples here. Anyway, uh, slowly, these uh, not enough raw material things will actually go away uh, because, uh, you know, trains will show up. Oh, here they come. The trucks are unloading. Excellent. Just need a train to actually show up. And uh, actually kind of interesting. Um, these are referred to as uh, container trucks. All of them, including ones with gas on them. And... The actual thing that they're carrying will be planted on top of their uh, their truck and attached to it directly. Uh, 
I think these ones are just standard gas trucks actually with a standard trailer. So in this case they would have shipped the trailer itself, which is a little bit wonky. Usually you have the container types and uh, it allows them to uh, transport a huge variety of goods. Uh, but yeah, that's working. That's good. And looks like, uh, in fact, same thing over here. It looks like this is finally working. Just took a little bit of time and we're getting all of our supplies coming out and they'll be distributing to various uh, factories in this area and probably also in this area, which is got power issues suddenly. Oh, I know why, because I detached a power source. Actually, a pretty important power source, so the vast majority of my power, in fact. So we'll just reattach that and that should uh, uh, end the brown outings of this area. And so yeah, uh, that's, you know, this is my industrial area. It's got lots of industrial support. Um, it will blossom massively. And uh, yeah, my plans from here will be to, I said this before, I'll say this again. I want to develop this area. Kind of simple. Um, I'm also in the wanting to um, develop this area here as an expansion of Farmville. It'll be a new industrial area with a new industrial intention. And I also want to um, move, remove this traffic circle, turn it into a giant overpass, and make this all highway, and make the highway pieces all link into these roads. Uh, hopefully that'll make traffic flow a little bit better. But these are all future plans. Uh, that's basically all I have to say for today. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Trollmaker. Thank you guys for watching me once again build my city.